Hello, Teacher Johnny here. Welcome back. All right, we are doing idioms. And this whole week of February, we are doing these. So workplace idioms is the goal for this month. All right. Okay, so we are on day number six. So make sure you check out the idioms I've already done if you have not watched any other idioms yet. Okay. So idioms are words that are put together. And when they are together, they mean something different from what those words mean by themselves, like usually something completely different. So we are going to do today business or workplace idioms that common native English speakers use. All right, so here we go, you guys. Dun, 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 dun. Scale back one's hours. Let's read that again. Scale back one's hours. So we have a picture of a scale here a scale is something we use to weigh things. We are not talking about weighing our back, like back or go back to China, go back to Iraq. We don't mean all any of those kind of backs. Here we are saying scale back. So when you scale back something, you reduce it, like you do less of it. Well, what are we doing less of? One's hours. Hours refers to time here, to time. So we are scaling back our hours. So, hmm, the company is making a decision for us to scale back our hours. I don't know if I want to do that. So that is what we mean here. Okay. All right. So let's just look at an example in a sentence. So let's see. Can you see it? There it is. We have a baby here. How cute. So when Christine had a baby, she decided to scale back her hours and just work part time. I'm going to read that again. Please follow along with me. When Christine had a baby, she decided to scale back her hours and just work part time. So what she is saying here is she just had a baby. She was working a lot. Now she's had her baby and she wants to stay home. She's going to scale back her hours. She's going to work less, work less. She wants to have less hours she's working and just work part time. So when you are working full time in the United States, full time means you are working eight hour days so usually five times a week, 40 hours a week. So full-time employment or work in the United States is 40 hours a week. Part-time employment is usually half of that. Somewhere between like, if you are working part-time and a nice part-time job, you are working 20 hours a week. Now it can range in there. It could be like, I'm working, you know, eight hours a week. I'm working 30 hours a week. You don't really hit full time until you hit that 40 hours a week. So she was working, it sounds like 40 hours a week, eight hour days, and she decided to scale back her hours and work less and just work part time. So she could spend more family time. That's usually the reason why uh, many mothers or even fathers scale back their hours because they're overworked or they want to spend more family time at home. If you are working more than 40 hours, you are working like 
so much more, you might earn overtime. So overtime. So those are some extra words that are words that we use to talk about business that are not slang. They're not idioms. They're actual vocabulary words. So full-time work is what your goal would be, right? You want to work, well, actually, who really likes to work 40 hours? But most jobs are 40 hours a week, okay? Then we have part-time, which usually means anything that's not 40 hours a week. But part-time can be less, like 20 hours a week. So if someone says, do you work full-time or part-time for that company? So if you work 40 hours a week, then you could say, I work full-time. If you are not working 40 hours a week, like you're more like 20 or 30 or less, you would say part-time, part-time. Okay, I only work part-time for that company. I have more than one job because I only work for each company part-time, part-time. Okay, here's that other word, overtime, overtime. <laughs> and I'm not sure if it's hyphenated. I will check. But overtime, if you work overtime, that means you are working more than... I'm going to type it in because I know I'm recording this, but I'm not going to edit it. This is me being real. Overtime is used as like um, overtime definition is one word. Overtime. So all the other ones you will see as a hyphenated because that's how we write them. But in English, we use overtime as the one word. So most of you might know overtime as like if you're a if you are watching a soccer game or football, right? Football game and the score is tied at the end of the game, they might go into a playoff or overtime. That means more time. So if you earn overtime in the United States, some jobs will pay you lots of extra money for all the overtime you do. So you can make money quickly if your job lets you work overtime because it's overtime pay. Because once you hit 40 hours a week, we have laws in place that if you work more than 40 hours a week, the company has to pay you more money for that extra time you're putting into your job. So you want to make sure if you come to the U.S., you get a full-time job if that's what you want. And if you want to earn money quickly, you do overtime and make sure you get paid well for it. Get what paid well. All right. So overtime work. All right. So that's a little bit extra <laughs> of a lesson there. Okay. So in the last slide, it just defines what I've already said. Scale back one's hours. One thing to note here is the word one refers to the person. That's your pronoun. So to scale back my hours, I will scale back my hours in June because it is summer and I want to spend more time with my family. I will scale back my hours. Susie decided to scale back her hours so she could have less stress, right? right? Like maybe we do it because we feel like we have too much stress, all right? So you want to make sure you change that. You can also usually scale back one's hours is used with another verb. So this is an idiom and we usually use it with a verb like, I will scale back my hours. We are scaling back our hours. Um, we wouldn't just say we scale back. We scale back. I scale back my hours. I usually will have I will or I did or I have decided. So you're going to use another set of verbs before you talk about this idiom. Now, if you want to use it just this way, um, you can just say, hey, you need, so here, listen, you need to scale back your hours. You are working too hard. Did you notice? I still even, I used need to. So we you want to use another set of verbs to talk about the scale back one's hours. 
Okay. If you have any questions about this idiom, please drop them down below in the comment section. If you are overworked and you need to scale back your hours, write that sentence. I need to scale back my hours down below. Or you could say, I do not need to scale back my hours. I actually need more hours, right? If you use it in a negative way, how could you use this in a question? So challenge yourself to use it in a regular sentence down below or in a negative, like, hmm, will you scale back your hours? No, I decided not to scale back my hours or I will not scale back my hours. And in a question, I just did it for you. <laughs> yes, will you or can I, how would you ask your boss? Can I scale back my hours? Then your boss might say, why? You can explain it and then maybe you can. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see all those idioms, make sure you hit that playlist. It's coming up or it's already here. Not there, over here. Okay. All right. Have a great day and make sure you subscribe so you can be notified the next time I put a video up for you to see. I'm here to help you. Come check me out on Hollow. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.